there are various types of FMEA or failure modes and effects analysis. A few of them are design FMEA, process FMEA, machine FMEA and system FMEA. For all these types of FMEA, our approach of dealing with the problem is the same. We proactively evaluate the process to identify the location, seriousness and how failure may occur. We measure the impact of the failure and then we identify those areas that are in greater need of change or improvement. In a summary, with FMEA, we learn what wrong thing can happen to our product or our process. Two types of FMEA are most important in this aspect. Design FMEA and Process FMEA. These two terms are widely confused. Let's see the common differences between these two terms. DFMEA is basically used with the new products or new product design and development whereas PFMEA is used to analyze the risk of the process. So here basically DFMEA is looking for the product and PFMEA is looking for the process. The tools that are used with the DFMEA are the technical specifications, qualifications and calibration certificates and with PFMEA we use the process flow diagram. With DFMEA we get an idea of how a product can fail. When the product fails, we fail to achieve the intended purpose of the product. With PFMEA, we get an idea how a process can fail. We fail to get the desired output when the process fails. So overall, with design FMEA, we are focusing on output or product or say final product. But with PFMEA or process FMEA, we are looking for the process inputs. Before ending this lecture, let's have a glance on the practical uses and understanding. For that, let's start our usual section. Let's run the quiz. Miranda works at Gunjan Chemicals. Her processing unit produces a chemical called EDTA. There are four distinct steps in production. She wants to know the level of her current production process and also wants to improve her process by detecting the failure modes and improving on them. What type of FMEA would you recommend to Miranda? Is it process FMEA or is it design FMEA? I'll give you some time to think. For that, you can pause the video now. The correct answer to this question is process FMEA because she is trying to improve the whole process, not any particular product. Okay, let me take you to the next scenario. Paul is designing a prototype product to be scaled to a large batch. Before bringing the prototype to a large batch size production, he wants to check what failures could he encounter in future and wants to correct them. As you have already gone through the differences, can you suggest Paul what kind of FMEA could be the best for this scenario? Is it process FMEA or is it design FMEA? I'll give you some time to think for the answer. You can pause the video now. Yes, this time Paul is not interested in the process of the production but rather the product itself. So you can suggest design FMEA to Paul. We will study many things uh, with simulated case studies and quizzes in future too. The next lectures are going to be exciting and fun as well. Thank you for attending this lecture. Time to move on.